Hello my friend, Evan Scoresby here with HowToWithEvan.com and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how to create an email list in Aweber. But if you're brand new and you're just getting started, you might be asking yourself the question, what exactly is an email list and why do I need one? Well basically an email list is a database of subscribers that submit their email address on your website to get more information about what you are promoting, right? So this is uh, very fundamental and key in building a business online. You want to build an email list of subscribers. Uh, so when building an online business, an email list is the first step to implement an email marketing campaign, which is basically just a, a sequence of, of messages that go out to your subscribers to follow up with what they have opted in for. And so the email list is very, very specific to what it is that you are promoting online. And I want to share with you an example, you know, just from my main website, as I introduced in the beginning, howtowithevan.com. If you go to that main website, you'll uh, see on the very front page this featured content right here where it's this ultimate beginner's guide to affiliate marketing, which is a free offer, free uh, promotion that I'm giving away. It's an ebook that teaches you step by step on how to build an affiliate marketing business from this ground up so you can refer other people's products and earn commissions by doing so. And so when people click on this image here, they go to a page that prompts them to put in their name and email address to get this free book. And I encourage you to do so if you haven't already. But uh, when, you put, when people put in their name and email address here and click on Get Free Instant Access, that's going to start the process for them to get on my email list so they can get this free book, but also receive follow-up messages from me with other important information that I send. And so the first step is to know what it is that you're promoting online, right? So you need to have some type of promotion. This could be a lead magnet like I just showed you where you're giving something away for free in exchange for an opt-in. Or it could be something that you're promoting, an affiliate offer of some kind. And so if you are an affiliate of any product or service out there, you can have a, a website set up that's promoting that product. And in order for people to get more information about it, they put in their email address and hit submit. And so once you know what you're promoting online, you'll be able to create that email list in your email marketing software. We're going to be showing you how to do it in Aweber, but this same process can be applied to any other email marketing software out there that you may be using. So let's come back here to the internet and let's go into uh, Aweber here. So I'm logged into my Aweber account and you can see up here at the top left is where they have this section where it says lists. Okay. So if I click on here, it shows that I'm on the active list, which is the AM guide. And that's the list that I set up for this Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Affiliate Marketing. That's how I named it. That's how it references what it is that I'm promoting. And you can see I do have other lists here that are promoting other things that I'm doing online, okay? But if you want to create a brand new list in Aweber, uh, you can just come down here where it says Create New List. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that, Create New List. All right and it'll take me to another page where it gives us a little bit more information all right so tell us about your business and so if you have a company name you can put that in here okay and so i do have a company name or i'm just going to use the you know how to with evan.com as my company name so if you have a domain name you can do something similar and i'm just going to since they're asking for the website address below i'm just going to put how to with evan and then i'm going to put my website oh, website or Facebook address. I'm just going to put in my domain name, howtowithevan.com, okay? And I select the address that's associated with my business, okay? This is required to have your address at the bottom of your emails. Uh, you can choose to put any address on there that you'd like, and that's just my business address. And so I'll go ahead and click on Next. And now it tells me to describe my email list. What is it all about? So this is where I can name my email list to what it is that I'm promoting. And so if I'm uh, promoting, you know, something, you know, <laughs> an amazing widget, okay, that's my list name, right? And then you can put in the, the list description. You can give a little bit of information of what this product is all about. And I encourage you to do something like that because 
If somebody who comes onto your email list and they decide to unsubscribe, they're gonna see this information. It might remind them of what they opted in for in the beginning anyway, and it might keep them on your list. So you do wanna put in a list description here. Um, since this is just a demo I'm, not, demo, I'm not putting anything for real in here, just showing you the process. But So I'm not gonna put anything in there for now, but you would need to also put in your from name. So you just put in how you want to have your message be seen to your subscribers with your front name and it should show your email address listed here as part of the list and then we're going to go ahead and create net go to next now oh, it does say that the list description is required so i'm just going to put in demo so we can move on to the next step so click on next step and this is uh, information that, uh, that your subscribers will see. Now with AWeber, they do encourage that you do a double opt-in, meaning people will have to confirm their email address before they actually make it to your email list. I highly recommend that you do this in your business. You're going to get a much better quality of lead, and you're going to get more people who are interested in, actually interested in what it is that you have to promote and what you have to say and the information that you provide. And so you can choose this confirmation information. So you can choose uh, you know, the English language or any other language in here. You can choose the subject line like response required, please confirm your request. And then you can, uh, you know, here's a default message preview. And you can come in here and edit the message content. And I would actually recommend that you do this too, where you just customize the message a little bit that says, hey, thank you for, requesting more information on our amazing widget. To confirm, please click the button below, right? And then you can sign it with your information at the bottom. I'm just gonna leave it as is, and then that's all we need to do. And we'll create the list. So once the list is created, it will refresh the page, and it will now be act the active list in your AWeber account. So once the list is set up, you're gonna be able to start setting up follow-up messages that can go out to your subscribers and anything else that you wanna to do to manage the list, okay? And so that may come up with another video with other things that you can do with the list, but just for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to show you how you can go in there and create a list for a specific campaign that you wanna promote online. And so I hope you found this information helpful and valuable and uh, if you haven't already, go to my website, howdowithevan.com. There's a link in the description below. And just get my free guide, my free affiliate marketing guide that teaches you step-by-step -step on how to build a business online. And uh, hope you make it a great day and never, ever give up on your dreams. Bye for now.